regulations, and those rules and regulations have to be respected. But of course, um, those rules and regulations, when applied to medicine, sometimes it, it, it mm. is very difficult yeah. because uh, you know some sectors, some other sectors, they work based on yearly, sometimes maybe quarterly. But when it comes to health, we we work based on hourly, or sometimes we base on uh, the, requ the requirements of time. So maybe. Also, part of the brainstorming might be that, okay, why not also we, we, we talk to GPP in terms of them understanding the flexibility required if you are to procure drug, because it's different from when you procure other equipment. Yeah. So I think part of the mobility has to do with number one, mobility on, 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 on where they, they, they produce the drug coming to the Gambia, and they are affected by the warfare. Secondly, the requirements that is also imposed on the, uh, on the on the importance of drug from the GPPA, mm. so uh, th these are also th these are these are some of the challenges. But I think when we disc when we when we as we are going now, if we brainstorm, I don't have a I don't I don't I don't see any problem that at least a temporary solution can be met to make sure now that the scarcity of drug that is uh, very concerning to us uh, is is going to be history or at least is going to be. It's going to be resolved gradually. Mm -hmm. So that was my introduction, and thank you very much. Let me allow Nyasi uh, if you have anything to say. In terms, especially when it comes to the contracts that we have with, with, the, with, the, with, with, with other people who could not uh, fulfill their requirements, to, uh, our requirements to, 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 to submit their drugs on time. Thank you very much, PS. Uh, and thank you very much, uh, Chair and Honorable Member, for inviting us for this open-minded discussion and I believe it's through discussion we can achieve something meaningful. If we don't have this discussion to come up with something, people we may hear so many different things. People will say the Ministry of Health is not doing much. Some also will also say the National Assembly <coughs> members are not putting the ministry to tax and others may blame the government. But a lot of effort has been made to make sure that we achieve this together. We all learn it. We learn a very bitter lesson mm -hmm. during the AKI, and we don't want such situation to happen. And measures have been taken. And MCA, having knowing the situations, the conditions of the risks involved in allowing certain flexibility to import on certain drugs with certain frictions. In that process, unfortunately, we had a KI. And certain measures we are taking against some people. And AKI, uh, MCA, we are now taxed to apply the full laws, the act governing the importations of uh, drugs. And in that process, so many challenges we are facing. It is not that the government, they are not producing or giving the Minister of Health the money needed for the procurement of drugs. We have the money with us. Now the problem we are having at this moment is the suppliers. Because uh, the Honor Bumbalo is a part of the the family, he knows his situations. So most of the suppliers, what they are complaining is, not all drugs can be registered and tested. For instance, for instance, for example, if you want to import petidine, and you need about maybe 500 bucks, and if you want to register and test this drug, you know the market in the country is it's very small. And if you want to register, and the cost for registration and testing is about maybe $300 per batch or more. So if you want to bring, the cost of the market in the country is very small. It's not going as expected compared to countries like Nigeria, Ghana, or Sudan, and what is it. So <coughs> most suppliers, they don't want to take that risk to register and test the drug. So in doing so, we are bound to have scarcity of drugs in the country. And that is what we are facing. So we have signed contracts with so many suppliers, but they are failing. 
One of them, in fact, is about he should deliver about three months ago. But up to today, we have not even received the first batch of the, 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 the drug he is supposed to supply. Every day you call, sometimes you cannot get, and he's not communicating. So this is the challenge we are facing. I'm so... We, as a ministry, we don't want to take a decision on our own. Mm -hmm. MCA also don't want to take a decision. They understand the, 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 the problem. What we need is an open discussion like this, so that we can look at the situation thoroughly and we said, okay, the law says this, but if you do A, B, C, D, what is the negative impact we are supposed to have? And that is the impact we are having, scarcity of drugs. Now, who should take the decision? MCA, they say they don't want to take the decision if they are not being given a mandate to waive certain uh, provision of the act. Because they said they learned the lesson. They were looking at the conditions of the country and to be flexible enough to see how best they can. In that process, as I said, we had APAI. And the executive officer was laid off. So the one coming in said, if I want to act, I need to be given a mandate to act. Mm -hmm. Now, who should give him that mandate is not us. So we have to discuss as a family. You have a role as the National Assembly members. We at the Ministry, Senior Management at the Ministry of Health also have a role to play, but not individual, not from ourselves. So the executive also has a role to play. We have to look at the situations, what is feasible, and what c can be applied to make sure that we have 100% uh, supply of drugs in the country. If we don't take a decision, I think the meeting like this is leading us to that uh, conclusion. Because, as I said, we don't want to sit and instruct in MCA, please do that. Otherwise, tomorrow, if something happens, they will also say it's from the ministry. So MCA also don't want to take a decision. Sorry, they don't want to take a decision and say, okay, we are going to apply this and this. So I think a meeting like this is better for us to come to one conclusion, so that we can, even if we are going to have a document, apply this until we arrive at that situation. We are. That's why we are building the food and drug testing lab, or is yet to be ready. We are hoping. It will be completed by June 2025, according to plan. And even if completed, you need the human resources needed. The equipment, the, the procurement process is ongoing. So well, that's a start. But here against June, what can we do? I think a meeting like this will help us arrive at the positive uh, conclusion that will arrive us to take positive decision to help our people. Otherwise, because the suppliers also, they want to bring drugs, but they don't want to bring it at a loss. Because, for instance, the exam, the scenario I give, I'm bringing about maybe 5,000, and I'm paying $10,000 more than my profit. They will not venture into such profit. That is the reality. So, in as much as we want to you know, have the situations. It's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. The supplies, it is our role to make sure the Gambian supplies also you know, survive in the market. We don't want in a situation whereby we take actions that will be at their own detriment. It, that is what the, even the president uh, said. He said he is a businessman. He doesn't want business to suffer in this country. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants business to suffer in this country. Is our own people we have to empower them. So, in the North Cell, I think uh, that is what we have got. The money is available. Even Minister of Finance, every day they are calling us. If we don't use this money, we have other priorities. But now, we sign it, we, because we don't want to sign a contract whereby we give money to suppliers and tomorrow they are not uh, delivered. They are not supplied. Mm -hmm. So, we told them the money is here. If you supply, we give you your money. We signed the contract three months along the line. Up to today, we are yet to receive it. Yes, in the, the challenge we have. Uh, in a nutshell, 
yeah. the, the, the regulation has to be in a vicious circle. Mm -hmm. After AKI, those that are penalized, mm -hmm. especially the Commission of uh, the Commission, mm -hmm. now the MCA, they say, look, if we do something wrong, mm -hmm. it is also coming on to us. Mm -hmm. So we are tied by law. Okay. Now, the ministry, who is the live ministry, also is, is tied by the act. For example, if I ask them to release a drug, for example, there, there are some in the past that were quarantined <coughs> because of the because of the because of the because of the act. Mm. So the visual circle is that the everybody, no one is above the law. Since there is an act, I received, for example, instructions that do this. But of course, if you tell MCA do this. At the end of the day, if anything happened, like AKI, PS, you are, you are responsible. MCA also is waiting for PS to say, okay, do this. And then I say, okay, executive, can you ask me to do that? Of course, executive also understand that as long as, the, as there is law, nobody is above the law. And I think there is a business circle. Mm -hmm. So the issue of the, 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 the testing that you talk about June, because you are giving hope, but that, that, that one is very limited. Okay. When you say about June, then the parliamentarians would be very happy thinking that our solution will be here against June. <laughs> that would, that would be the <laughs> because that one it has a limited capacity to test. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, before we have fully fledged the human, resource. Uh, human resource capacity to now have bring to test, fully fledged that we don't need mm -hmm. all these things anymore, it takes time. Yeah. Definitely, then our solution should focus on how do you have a, a temporary solution in weight Until, yeah. of that capacity, not to in weight of June. Mm -hmm. So I think these are these are things that I just wanted to add. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, yes. I, I think from here, from now, I think you can even, I can safely say, you can even close the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because honestly, in, in all honesty, I listen to what we did and of course the acting director of the service and you speak based on knowledge, you speak based on experience and you speak based on law and regulation and of course management applied. So we didn't really, really thank you because uh, it, it is true, I'm just coming from my constituency, let me just tell you this simple scenario. There was somebody who was sick, I lost him to the hospital. I went there, these are things which, you know, I don't even want to say sometimes. I went there as chair of the committee, even all the notes approached me. Honorable chair, honorable, we are here, but we have sort of young medicine, there is no medicine. <coughs> what, what should I tell them? Because I know certainly there is budget line for drugs, mm -hmm. and drugs have been procured. Mm -hmm. But physically, are they available at the beneficiaries? That's the challenge we have. And as Dr. Nyasi said, these are challenges which you know that we have to sit and discuss. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of Parliament or the MC or ministry do that. No, whatever that we do, we have to base it on law and regulation. And we have our laws and we have our regulation. These are made by us here. So if there is any challenge that we see in any of this, all of us we sit down, discuss, we identify them and we change them. Because these are this is not like Quran or Bible or whatever. These are man made laws and man made regulations. We can definitely sit around them and see what we can do. So I think, like my introduction, as I said, this is an open discussion, a family discussion, and this discussion will continue until we proper into solutions. And I, w I, w I will, I will, I won't allow, even in the public domain, to say, Ministry of Health, you are responsible, MCA, you are responsible, or uh, National Assembly, you are responsible, because it's a collective responsibility. Yes. All of us have a take, yes. and we have to now focus on how best we solve this thing. No blame mm -hmm. from even members or from anybody, but let's focus on having this solution so yes. that we move forward. Yes. That is that, that is our point of view, and that is our perspective. Yes. And that is the instruction I received as chair from giving the speaker of the National Assembly. Let's see how best we solve this thing, and we move on. And I think that is in my my members, I think you are them now if you have anything that we I hope that on Monday, because Monday we are coming with in yes. a full house. Full house, yes. Then the picture will be clear. Yes. And the minister, I think, yes. I will try to make sure that he also yes. comes. Yes. Because even though there are challenges, but I think when we discuss in a full house, mm -hmm. we will we will reach a breakthrough. Reach a breakthrough that will when you are a parliamentarian and going to your constituency, at least you, you will have something to say. Mm. The same thing as a PS. When I when I when when I when I became a PS, I, I, I stopped going to the private 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 uh, hospitals. I went to, to, the, to the public with my with my with my family. But now I found the same the same problem and they're asking attacking me what where where's the drop? So it is something that we have to solve. And and, and, and I, I have no doubt that when we come as a full house and we look at the laws, there are some, because when I look at the Act, I was, I was looking to Article 20, and I even tried to look at, uh, seek legal opinion with the Minister of Justice. How do we maneuver? 
for example, because also law, it, there is in, in, lead, in lead and spirit. Mm. So how do we now make sure now that the spirit of the law also is attained through the, lead, the, through the, through the lead of the law? Maybe when we meet again, look at, looking at the act, we can reach that conclusion also to make sure now that people do not suffer. Mm. And this is what we also want. Definitely. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. So, uh, members, uh, what do you want to yes. say? Uh, so, Cora. So, we start with Cora. Yes. We start with Cora. Yes, um, thank you. Thank you. Well, anyway, um, thank you so much, uh, PS and the team. Um, I think what you explained, that's why I said this meeting has to be on Kabel so that Gambians, they can know actually what is happening at the National Assembly as far as procurement of drugs is concerned. Because many of Gambians, majority of Gambians, they are not literate. They don't understand you know, the nitty gritties involved in procurement of drugs. But I'm very, very happy that PS and the team, you set light, and most of the Gambians, they are seeing what is happening, that these are the processes involved. And then I think um, all the tokens that we are doing here is very, very important. When we sit as a family, we discuss, we strike a balance, then from there we'll come to consensus. But I think the most important thing here is uh, when AKI happened, there was a lot of news headlines, you understand? So those working at MCA, they were very, very careful. Even myself, if I am working there, I have to be very, very careful. And then the minister too has to be very, very careful. The president has to be very, very careful. All those working at the ministry, they have to be very, very careful. Because up to now, I think the case is taken to court. And then it's not yet concluded. So this is the fear that those working at MCA that they have. And then these people are guided by law. Now the only thing that we can do as a country, let us revisit the laws and then see. Because we know our people are suffering. Because for me, as National Assembly member, sometimes when I go to the provinces, the complaint that people will do, there is no drugs at the hospitals. This is the complaint that they do. They, they, they always say. But they fail to understand that there are processes involved in, in procurement of drugs. Look, you sign contract with a particular contractor for the last three months up to now. He didn't supply you drugs. Uh, now, the only thing that I will tell you as a ministry, you see, the ministry is doing a good work. But some Gambians, they don't realize that, the, that the, 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 those working at the hell, they are doing good work there. But now, what I just want to tell Pierce and the team, what do you explain to us here? At least on a weekly basis, every week, twice, you should be on TV, on QTV, on Star FM, on the radio station, so that you enlighten Gambians. You tell them this is, this is what is happening, so that they can understand, they can know. But apart from that, others will be blaming government. They don't, cannot even buy drugs. Why well, is that not the case? The money is there. And then, you know, it's not a matter of, I sit in here, I want drug from this particular country, the following day the drugs are available here. It's a channel. So when that channel is explained to Gambian, at least they will understand. So, but I think um, this is very, very timely. I think we need to come together. If need be, let's change some of these laws. Because to be quite honest, our people are suffering, especially the provincial Gambia. Definitely they are suffering. So yeah, this is what I have to say. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, P.S. and Dr. Nyasi. Um, for mine will be a question. As far as we are in this situation, so is it that the ministry cannot pro uh, procure drug by themselves mm -hmm. um, without giving it to the contractor? No, that, that is a, there is a DPP yes. procurement rules mm -hmm. that all government uh, uh, entities should follow. Okay. Those contracts that they are signing is from the ministry by. Mm -hmm. Of course, the minister, the minister must for supply to be to flow the process. That's why I was referring to when I said when I said that the people also should understand the nature of the health sector. To make sure that okay, uh, this is what I meant. Yes, and I'm referring to, 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 to his point, it's also very relevant. You know, when you don't tell people what you do, they don't know. That's why now when you don't tell people when you don't report to people what you do, they don't know. That's why now we have 
we spent a lot of money in terms of the billboards. We have now engaged the World Bank to give us electronic billboards where they will have it every, in, in, in many corners. To, 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 yes, to, to, and these are coming very soon. There was a jingles and all that. And we will understand that. So definitely you have to report to people what you are doing for them to appreciate. Otherwise, they will keep blaming you. And, and, and I think that point is very relevant. Thank you very much. Yes, I will Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Chair, and thank you, PS and the, and the team, uh, for that enlightenment. <clears throat> you know, I think laws are made to address issues in society, mm. and sometimes, even in doing so, certain laws uh, turn, do not turn out to exhaustively solve the problem. And in the event when situation happens, you, it's, not, it's not bad to look back, go back and see where the gaps are and fill them. But I also think uh, with, after the aftermath of the AKI, uh, it has created a new enlightenment in terms of what we are supposed to do with regards to regulations and ensure that uh, standard procedures are applied to ensure that we protect the Gambian community. Uh, if those standards are, are established, uh, the suppliers, the people, actors in that must do their utmost to ensure that those standards are upheld. I think importing drugs to this country should not also be a matter of just making profit. It should be a matter of service. And I don't get it when you say it's not profitable so they don't want to pay the, 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 the listing or registration fee or the, the purchase. You understand? Because if it's business, if you put more, the, the cost you incur, you add that cost to the cost so that uh, the, the, the beer goes to the government or your customer. So, uh, because we have to protect the government community. Uh, you know, the, we should understand the fear that the MCA is having uh, and the fear that not only somebody is going to lose his job, but do we want to expect another AKI incident? You know, that is something we must all focus on because we don't have to uh, lose the strings. You know, let's see what is possible. So, because if you say, I was thinking, do we have briefcase importers? Why? Because I understand in the in the act, there 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 is a, 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 an understanding to to even lessen these restrictions for people importing from stringent, stri how do you call it? Stringent countries. To, to that, not, instead of listing, instead of registration, they can say, you know, we, we found that. To, to minimize that, that challenges, so that they don't go for registration, they go for listing. And also, doctor, when you say, you know, the, the, the challenges we have, I know some importers are taking, bringing from India. Some are bringing from these countries that I have just mentioned. And we've done that to lessen that hiccups. Now, as far as your importers are concerned, where are they detected? Where is this challenge coming from? The drugs you needed, where are they coming from the India? Those bringing from India? Or those coming from these stringent countries? Or entirely, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are feeling this sovereignty from, because importers from all these countries are not importing because of these new regulations. I, I want to understand that, please. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much. Thank most you. of our suppliers in this country, not only our suppliers, <coughs> most business, uh, pharmaceutical business people, they either import from India or China or from within the sub region, and especially Ghana. So only few bring certain types of drugs from for instance Europe and other countries only few people so if we want to for instance a bulk procurement like the many for the Minister of Health they rather go to India or China or Ghana so that is where we are getting most of our drugs I think so, it has to be okay, so uh, in as much as we learn uh, the, 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 the bitter lesson of AKI but 
is a negative uh, lesson that we learned, but I have to say that I have to thank the Minister of Health for picking it up. Because we have, in, in as much as we are strengthening our surveillance system, surveillance meaning that to early detect, treat, and respond. Countries like Indonesia, they were having this for almost more than a year. They did not detect it. It's the lesson learned. Once we raised the alarm of this, that's the time also they started uh, uh, doing the test and they realized also they are dealing with AKI. Mm -hmm. Condition like this could have happened. We were just thinking it's a normal death of children. But we did a thorough surveillance and we took immediate investigation as the time we realized we are dealing with a condition not of an ordinary condition but AKI as a result of drug. Because we have strengthened our surveillance system, our laboratory system. That's why we are now picking so many disease conditions. When you strengthen your surveillance, you pick disease condition. And when you pick disease condition, people outside will say, oh, the Minister of Health is dealing there because we have strengthened our surveillance system. And people should uh, appreciate that. In as much as you are strengthening your surveillance system, you are likely to pick diseases at an early stage. And in picking that, people should not see it as weakness of the Minister of Health, but strength of the Minister of Health for picking condition at early stage. That's why when people talk about AKI, they should thank the Minister of Health for taking decision. Even the WHO, they congratulated the Gambia mm -hmm. for picking it earlier and other big countries learn from. Uh, they came here even for study tour. How will we manage to pick it early and we respond? So this is what I want to pass also to the general public. In the as other... much as we want to strengthen your surveillance system, mm -hmm. you are likely to pick many disease countries within the, the country and people should not see it as weakness but rather strength mm -hmm. of the ministry. The Thank other you. dimension of the question is about mm -hmm. the uh, cheap medical team. Because normally when they go to buy from London mm -hmm. or to buy from this question came also when we met the president. Mm -hmm. He said, "Why, you know, why, why don't, why, do, why do you make it as a business? You know, but it's difficult to also let them. For them, they said we also have to at least, you know, uh, you know, get something out of the business. Mm -hmm. Now the issue of why, do, why do they buy from India and not from this one is that it's cheaper there. For example, they said the same mark can be bought from from London about ten dollar, ten ten pounds." You go there, it is nine pounds. Mm. And it's the same specification, the same thing. Maybe that's why also most of it coming from the other uh, the, the, uh, non stringent coming from India, from China, and this needs to be tested if you don't want to also fall into another AKI. And most drugs from these stringent countries are from India mm. and China. Yes. 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 So we share the same market. Yes. yes. So Thank you. Thank you very much. India is a, it's a global powerhouse when it comes to the drugs in the industry. Yeah. Most of these high countries, they always get their source medicines from India. So, thank you very much. And then I think as the discussion is ongoing, we are only getting positives out of it. And then, uh, just mention a few, few important things. My Honorable Baji mentioned a very important thing that briefcase importance. You see, uh, with the coming of with this strict regulation, strict implementation of law, I have been very, very informed, and I have even seen evidence. Whereas, you see drugs in the country now, I have to tell you, whereas they don't even pass through the normal in, uh, point of entry, and you see them in country. So it seems like if you st if, if if it is too stiff, it makes too stiff. People have a way of. <laughs> doing things illegally and and, and there the risk is very high. Yes, this is a challenge, especially with some of these emergency drugs. That is, that is the fact. So whatever that we need to do is we need to do rightly and make sure that we protect the people at all costs. That's what is very important. So when you, that's why when you mention this briefcase in for us, I say I have to highlight. Remember, we have cross borders. Not even about missing only we don't think so. That's why MCA. So it's a problem. That's why you say they're capacitizing. They are, they, are, they are now building more capacity to send their, 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 their inspectors also at the borders. This is what they are now trying to do. Mm -hmm. All the cross 
that come into Gambia. Before it was in the seaport. Now they want to put it in the seaport. They want to sit in the, those from, from, from all borders to make sure that when people come, they also look at it. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Just a quick, quick son. Um, yes, please. I just want to ask: Do you have any temporal solution to solve this shortage of drug in the Gambia before the changing of the the act? Because changing of this act might take a lot of time. But do you have any temporary solution right now to solve this problem? Because like us, who don't have any background of health, like what the Honorable Member said, you must go on the media to explain to the people, to understand the reality of what is happening. So if people don't hear from you people, automatically people will complain. People must talk against the ministry that there's no drug in the hospital. What we care most is drug to be well treated in this country. So if you don't hear anything, we don't hear you people talking about it over in the media or over the air telling people what is happening. People automatically, they will complain. But I really want to know, do your ministry have any plan about this before changing of, of this uh, act? Maybe we will change because I don't know when are we going to change the act. The law of listing could not address the problem. We have to understand Gambia, the market volume for Gambia is very small. So for the fact that the volume is very small, the condition that we put, the business people don't want to business with us. Technically, because if you want to put, they don't want to do business with us. So meaning that it will be very hard for us to get, because if you are ordering a container, somebody ordered 3,000 containers, and your conditions are very rigid, so what they will do is they will leave you and take you not to be serious and deal with other people. This is what we have. Because all the, the three third of the world drugs are manufactured in India, mm -hmm. being America. So for our listing, when we said produce or manufactured, scientifically, mm -hmm. we get it wrong. Because we should use source, market authorization. Mm -hmm. So that for us to consume that, the laws that we made even don't address our problem. Because of the volume that we have, we have to understand that very well. The, my question is, it's about some emergency issues happen. The issue of the normal salary. The ministry was constrained. We understand that you made an emergency request for our border people to help us. Was these drugs, the risks that the ministry took to bring the normal salary to address this issue? There were some waves that were made. Why can't the ministry do the same? That's why. Because they were able to make an emergency request of normal salary from Senegal to come here. And number two, in the question that I'm asking, the ministry have an opportunity. The executive, the president, asked the ministry to go and have a temporary solution. Until today, three months down the line, the ministry don't make that solution. And that was solution was very easy for the ministry to sit down with MCA and the importers to come up with the solution. But who along the line? This is the highest power of the nation, giving you a tax. But yet still the ministry don't do it. What, what, what is happening in the ministry? That is not responding to the president request, not factoring the issue affecting the Gambian population. And also they could go a little way to get normal sign from Senegal which was not put, and there was a compromise. Can this compromise not be extended? Anyway, these are my questions. Thank you. Thank you. Then I will, I will come to, to, to the lady, then I will also add to Mara. So, uh, yeah. so, so thank you very, uh, very much, uh, Honorable. Kali and Bala for your solutions and your questions. Uh, as we said, uh, sometimes uh, we have to take the risk.
but we don't want to continue to be taking the risk. All right. So, with regard to Honorable Coley's uh, questions it, in terms of uh, whether the Minister of Health has a temporal solution, yes, we have a temporal solution, but that solution is not uh, solving the main problem. For instance, we have given uh, all the hospitals, they are semi-autonomous, we normally give them money to buy drugs on their own. But it's also a challenge because sometimes they want to, because they have that autonomy, not like the Ministry of Health, they can have that fast procurement uh, procedures to buy drugs. But sometimes they have um, the money, but the drug also is not readily available in the country from the suppliers. And that is one problem. And the other problem, as we said, some of the suppliers, we learn a better, uh, a better lesson from them. We give them money. Sometimes they don't have even, they will not even supply us. And what we have introduced now as a ministry is, if you want to supply and deal with the ministry, you must have the financial muscles to pre-finance it. We don't want suppliers to use the Ministry of Health to start a business. Mm -hmm. And that is, there is a no-go area. And we sign contracts with most of these people. I, I, I explain it and they are not responding. So the temporal solution we have created as a ministry for now is we are now dealing with uh, UN partners. In as much as we want to strengthen our local suppliers, but they are not giving us positive uh, <coughs> results. And that is... Uh, tempting us, we have written to GPPA, they have given us partial approval to deal with this UN partner. So we have, we are about to sign a, a contract with uh, UNOX that will help us to be procuring some of the, not all the drugs, but some of the essential drugs. Because those are the key drugs that we cannot um, run a ministry without, otherwise it's virtually will be useless sitting in the office without the availability of these essential drugs. That is a challenge and it's difficult. So with regards to Honorable Barlow's question, I'm happy you said the President uh, given the ministry that uh, go ahead to go and discuss with him. I, I'm not sure whether Pierce and you are privy to that, but I'm not privy. Last time we communicated, and I told you I'm, uh, I'm going to engage MCA. When I engage MCA, they say it's open. But we have to, this when we discuss as a ministry within MCA and DC, whether we have that mandate mm. to go against the act also is another question. We can discuss and say, let's do this. But now, if anything problem come, who are they going to blame? It's MCA and ministry. So that's why this discussion is good for both the parliamentarians, the MCA, and the ministry. We stick and we take a decision. So when something else comes, all of us are responsible. But if the ministry and MCA only sit and take a decision, and the act is there to guide all of us, and next time you will call us and tell us, why do you do A, B, and C? So that's why your involvement in this discussion for a, a, a precise decision is important. So I think that's the right way forward. Thank you. Thank you, Yasi. Yes. Uh, just to add into that, um, the temporary solution, he has just mentioned part of it. Mm -hmm. The other part, when we started, when we now engage with this project of testing, to, to, to do our own testing, our own limited testing, it's part of the time to have a temporary solution to the problem. But Every solution uh, uh, you know, adopted has some side effects. For example, when he tell you that we want to give autonom autonom autonomy to these bodies, it also has side effect that, okay, when something happen, when something wrong happens, mm. it will also come and hunt us down. Mm. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? I think we have to look at the issue as um, between two evils. The evils of getting people sick and the evils of and the, the, the evils not following the law. These are two evils. We have to be very careful. If you if you if you if you involve into getting people sick, then the consequences is very bad. 
And that is why every solution that we are suggesting, we also have to, our eyes in the law. When you give autonomy to these people, they may do other things. When also they go against the law in their procurement, they will also come back to us. And that is why that's number one. But I think there are temporary solutions. And part of it is this line that the Honorable is talking about. And that come back to his question, when you, when, when you take an exceptional mean, because of you are under pressure, that exceptional mean cannot be generalized. Because, because exceptional solutions cannot be generalized. Because sometimes you are under pressure, you are under necessity, then you use the law of necessity. But this is bounded by its limit. Yes. So you cannot, you cannot use necess necessary steps, on, you know, necess necessity mm -hmm. continuously. And this is the problem. So when you go to do that to Senegal and buy this and buy that, mm -hmm. so this is only to make sure now that you elevate a necessary a ne a ne a condition for necessity. So and this is bounded by so its limit. Uh, uh, that is a uh, part of the mandate of the Office of the Director of Health Service to make sure that you take decisions which are precise. Yes. And when the worst comes to the worst, mm -hmm. and I will still, still take that decision to allow it because we have, or we have gone to a certain place whereby there is no normal saline in this country and we cannot operate. Uh -huh. Ladies cannot deliver without the, uh, the presence of this normal saline. <laughs> so I was <laughs> at a point whereby I have to take that decision yes. to give a clearance for normal saline to come yes, to this to come. But that is and, a necessity. And that I cannot be continuing doing that. No, I need yes. to be supported. Yes. Right? So that's By why making sure that it's available. Yes. Why I cannot be taking that risk Every to be time. giving clearance, clearance. And when the problem comes, I'm going to be harassed. <coughs> okay. so, 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 in as much as I'm taking risk, I need to be supported not to be taking risk all okay. the time. So it, 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 it boils down to. Yeah. It boils down that necessity is bounded by its limit, yeah. and you know you, you know the law better than me. Yeah. So so the the, the the last question has to do with the with the instructions from the state house. I was there, I was there, and the the pharmaceuticals they came. We had a lot very good discussion with them, and two solutions two two solutions and were suggested, which we are very close to solving. And the last one, then the president said to the minister, "Can you sit down now and you solve the problem?" Definitely, we are, the process, of course, is very slow, but it's, it's not. It's, it's still going on because after that, the minister traveled because he's the one that took care that process. When we left, he went to Brazzaville, and his 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 his, his travels are too much. But definitely, it's not something that we forget. Even last week, I talked to him when you called me, and now I call MCA, and MCA also is on travel. He's coming back. So when when MCA come, the minister is here. Definitely, we will make sure now that. That instructions is, is uh, we, are, we are going to take care of. So we, we it no, it's not something that we abandon, but the process is just very slow. So thank so you. So I much. think we can do it together on Monday mm -hmm. yeah. with them, so that <laughs> so that they will be present. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, PS and your team. I believe a lot have been said here, but the actual matter here um, is that understanding that um, we are faced with a problem. And, and we believe together, as you suggested, um, there can be a solution. And right now, I think we just don't have to talk about other things when we know actually what is going on. The entire issue is about the act, the law. The law that governs us in terms of bringing medicine in this country. That is our problem and we want a solution to that problem. And in doing so, like the Honorable Chair of this committee have rightly said, we are not going to take our vision on our own, but instead we must engage the relevant stakeholders, including yourself. And we believe, as far as the entire process is concerned, the Ministry of Health is the main stakeholder that is required in terms of any decision that parliament needs to take tomorrow as far as the amendment is concerned and i believe that if there is also amendment then our problem will be solved because we all know that we make laws for the people and if we don't make laws that will favor the people and that will be there to enhance and also help the people then there is no need for those laws now we sat down and realized that the law is the issue, is the problem. Now we want a solution to that. And like we are doing right now, we are opening the doors 
this is the first stakeholder engagement that we have in that is the parliament with the that is the committee on health with the ministry of health the other engagement or will be us and the other stakeholders including you people also because we believe at the end of the day whatever we are to do there must be an amendment and when that amendment is made there will be a solution so i think that is the purpose of this meeting and, and it should be clear we can have other problems other issues surrounding the laws that has to do with medicines or drugs in this country but this should be the main discussion today because if i can fully remember what we appropriated as parliament during the last budget session for this year was 240 million dollars only for drugs but if ministry of health is sitting in front of us telling us that the money is with the minister of finance and even the minister of finance is telling you that the money is here for you to procure drugs it's with us is with you yes. to procure drugs yes. and you cannot still procure drugs because of the laws yes. we have to be very clear here because of the laws it's not because of the medicines cannot be here it's because of the laws and that is what we are proposing now we are saying that there is need to change the laws so that the ministry of health will not be faced with such a challenge and all the stakeholders that are involved in terms of selling drugs in this country can also not face with the same challenge so this is what we want. So I think this should be what we should be discussing. And I believe this meeting is very timely. And also, um, I believe we are in the right direction for a solution. Because no matter what, it will always go back to the people that we represent. Yes, you are the ministry. You are doing extremely well in terms of making sure that we realize or achieve universal health coverage. We all know. But collectively, we must do the needful and make sure that the necessary laws are put in place so that whatever can help us to have access to our hospitals and also to have access to drugs in our hospitals should be something that we must prioritize as a country. Okay. So this is what I want to say. Thank you. Honorable yeah. Nabo, one thing to be paid before you come, Honorable Nabo. No, you are late, but we'll give you another opportunity. I don't know whether, 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 you know, concern all along the issue of procurement of drugs in this country, even when we were in, you know, in Rwanda, these were the questions I normally ask those people, how do they do it, you know, because I want us to, you know, and, you know, have a solution to the way and the manner we put your drugs. So I think, uh, as said, as rightly said by the deputy or the vice chair of the committee, it all boils boil down to the laws. The laws entangle us. The laws tie our hands at our back. So I think, honourable members, the minister of health, and all other stakeholders, we have to identify those laws within the act. I think they have amendment. Simple. They are not Bible, they are not Quran. Let's amend them. This is what the chair said. Let's amend them. So that's, 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 that's my take. And I, I'm not asking them any questions because I know that's the solution. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 They are not Bible, they are not Quran. I want to argue that the issue of donations have stopped in this country. And that is also affecting the country. Bansan is a beneficiary of drugs from Anita Smith because of the law. Is the law? Is the law? Yes, so I think. I want to bring this. But these are your laws. If I should bring it, what can you do as director to help me? You know, I cannot be writing to exempt. All the time, I cannot be writing to exam, and because of, I have to be very careful sometimes also. Because sometimes they, they are very, even they are now afraid to bring in drop. I mean, yesterday, you have the feature in our hands. They want, uh, yes, they want to bring drugs. I told him essential, but they tell me, but I cannot bring. I will be disturbed. I not even. I said, 
but bring. I will, I will see what can I, I will do. Because it's coming to help. Because they are bringing very key essential drug, anesthetic drug, and other things, which we are struggling to have every day. But I ask them to bring. But if they bring, I have to see a way of dealing with MC8. But I, that is the problem. I have to. Be, I, sh I will not. Be, I should not be taking the risk all the time. Yeah. Clear and exempt. When something falls, it will fall on my head, <laughs> and you will not be there to support me. You so you the problem, on, as you said, is the law. You see, you, you like see this on my mobile. Yes. It's about the act. Yeah. Your act. Yes. I always try to maneuver. How do I now use no. the act to be, to be legal and bring drugs? Mm. So, I have a problem here. Yes. Mm. It's not the law. Mm. Uh. The people who are important don't have the capacity. Let's, let's be clear. It's not the law. No, no, no. It's not the law. No, I can't agree with it. It cannot be the law. It cannot be the law. It's not the law. The people who... The law is a very standard law. You cannot take drug to any standard country without registration and enlisting. Listen, this is, this is plain. Let's do, let's do mute these things. Now, but the people that we are dealing with, for example, you want to order. There is a minimum order for a certain, certain quantity. Gambia don't, the importers we don't, we are, we are, we are having, don't have the capacity to, to, to order that kind of minimum, minimum quantity. They, 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 they order in small quantities. And that is the problem. Now, you donation, this, the guy who is not in the government, he's not bringing a lot of drugs, he's going to bring special drugs. Mm -hmm. That guy don't have, you know, go and buy the whole drug. He has to test him. So he's he, testing, he, somebody donating you. Yes. And he's bringing different kind of, maybe, drugs. different kind of drugs. Drugs, and, and each drug is spending spend 300 yes. of protesters. For instance, I'm bringing five ampoule of uh, petinine. Yes. Five ampoule of antipsychotic yes. drugs. Yes. yes. So you're asking me, each of them you take, you spend 300 pounds yes. of dollars. Yes. So, uh, but, but that's what I'm saying. It's no, the, 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 no, it's no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Yes. Yes, so you want to see, mm -hmm. they should bring the drugs without testing. No. So, that's what I'm saying. So, the that law is saying you should test it. You are saying it should be tested. Yes, law. yes. That, that, that's, that's, the law. No, that's what the law is saying. I'm going to the law. Yes. And that is deterring them from bringing it. It's yes. not a problem. No, no, it's not a problem. It's, it's still, problem no, listen, of, listen. Yes, yes. We should have a convergence here. Yeah. Okay, good. The government mm -hmm. that they are donating yeah. should be responsible to take care of that testing. So that they don't want to bear that cost. Let the government bear that cost. You understand what I mean? But they are, we cannot allow those to come here without being tested, doctor. No, 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 no. That, that should be standard procedure. So because somebody do not want to pay because they are giving you for free, and I know the donor part. The donor is saying, no, no, I get you, I get you. The, the donor, the donor is saying, since I'm giving you for free, I don't have to pay extra cost. What is your responsibility as a government? Now you take care of that testing for the donor and he gives you medicine for free. That's what I'm saying. So you cannot say, you know, you know, you know, you know, that one is because of the law. Because it, we cannot lax this law and have another, you know, another, another, another AKI in, in, in the event. Okay. It's very serious. So let us, like I said in my opening remarks, let us be very careful with the law. And look at the people who are in, 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 in importing and look how we can help them to have the capacity to, 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 to import at, at the same time obey the laws. That is, that is my position. You understand? But my fear is if we just go, go and say, okay, let's change it to, to, to satisfy the importers. No, no, no. Sorry, I want to. No, no, no. no, no, no. Sorry, I want to say something. I know, I know. I understand. I understand very well. I want to say something. I understand. I'm not very well. I'm not very well. Order, order, order. Order, order, order. Order, order, order. No, no, order, order. Give me, give me. Order, order, order. You will come in. 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 Let's, 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 Thank you very much. When everybody has said his opinion, and then he has view, we have to respect that. It is our it is our responsibility, all of us here, being me, being the Minister of Health, and of course some of us here, to make sure that we talk to him, make sure that we put him in the same line we are thinking since he's thinking different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not no amount of arguing or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because I, I definitely respect his view, I respect his opinion. Mm -hmm. It is based on how he understands and how he sees. So exactly.
definitely I, 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 I appreciate the honorable. So, you said a lot of things. I will give the opportunity to the municipal insect to respond to a few of the things. But I just want to make some, some clarifications. Um, when we say the law, the issue of testing, it's more or less a sort of a, a regulation sort of, I can say. And it's, these are measures that are employed by the regulatory bodies to make sure that every drug that comes in here, they test them. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily test them in condition, and they, but they are now what they are doing is they are doing strategically outsourcing it to other people. Like in India, they have a farm there that they contract in China and so on and so on. They pre test it before they come. Now, the, it's the, the problem of testing is those drugs coming from SRA countries. If they come up to here, mm -hmm. sometimes they'll quarantine them, send sample outside. The funny thing about it is it's coming from SRA, they will come here, to quarantine them send sample to countries you know, they are not even SRA to test them there. Mm -hmm. So that is the issue here. Yeah. So the technical idea here. It's like you said, I trust these drugs from this country, UK, US. You come here, now you want to take sample, take it to let's say India for testing. So easy. It's sort of contradicting sort of. So what we need to do is what we need to do, we need to discuss, find a solution and make sure that we don't compromise standard, we don't compromise quality. But again, Availability is also important mm -hmm. because if I go to my constituency, these people are telling me I don't have drugs in my hospital. Well, honestly, that's the, that's the least how far I can go to make for idea because I am here because of them. I represent them, and I want them to be having this quality medicine at their disposal. So I think when they say law, laws and regulations are the problem here. There are other things which you know that if you look deep down, it's a problem. Like the Ministry of Health now have enough money to procure medicines, and they have signed contracts with. Suppliers to supply them, and now these drugs are not be available. So that is something which you have to deal with. The law. That is a fact. And of course, again, when 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 we come to emergency drugs, I know there are some provisions provisions in the act that say emergency drugs. But right now, some sometimes pass. If you have snake bite, like this simple snake bite, and the venom and so on, they are not available here. If you have simple cynic advice, so make sure that they inject you with this <coughs> for, you, for you to stabilize and then, then these are emergency drugs that need to be available at all times. I know there are provisions in the law regarding that, that we need to make sure we see how best we strengthen. So make sure that some of these emergency drugs are available. And some of these drugs that he's mentioning at operations, these are drugs that we cannot afford to miss. Yeah. You cannot contract an operation and they tell you don't have that, you don't have that, you don't have that. That's something okay. we cannot. Then let's close, let's close the Ministry of Health and we go home. Yes, that is, that is the honest truth. But I think we just need to discuss, bring him on board, respect his opinion, respect his perspective, yeah, yeah, yeah. so make sure that he understands from the angle we are talking from. Probably, uh, so, sorry for my language, he's not much health oriented in that aspect. <laughs> yes, so you need to help him. Yes, <laughs> yes. So thank you very much. PS and team, you can copy both me with Lotham Mbali. If you want to collect you can copy. I, I think yes, I First, uh, for me to make my colleague understand, the global fall drops with all the countries that are benefiting from the global fund, the laws in the Gambia are not favorable. They are asking those ones to be tested. And if you look at testing, it's matter. It, there are layers. These drugs are satisfied by WHO. But our current laws is doubting that. We are having challenges on even family planning products. Yes, yes, yes. Global Fund, HIV and AIDS, the law have a problem in this country because we were over ambitious. Mm -hmm. But even the law, what we are saying, even in the law itself, mm -hmm. testing, you cannot test every qualities in the world. No yeah, country is doing no it. Is doing and the law of the Gambia is dictating that. Yeah. The law says everything. 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 Yes. <laughs> so the law yeah. is a problem. Yeah, the law is a problem. We, we are so ambitious mm -hmm. that we try to be in a place, even in Rwanda that Dabo is saying, that's not what they do. Mm -hmm. Even here in Ghana that have at a maturity level yeah. of laboratory they have, they are not <coughs> doing as we are doing. Mm -hmm. So in the country, the law of our country is the problem. Yeah. We the mandate of MCA so make sure that safe efficacy drugs mm -hmm. and any other medicine related e e regulation. But for this mandate is over ambiguous that we don't have. So our problem is the law. But we will never compromise the issue of standard. testing and standard. Mm -hmm. But the law is over ambitious. That's why we, we that's want that's to. A, that's a good place to laugh. So we to laugh in this. Yeah, 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 yeah,
is that we have parliamentarians who know, who knows, you know, who are health oriented, and it, it, it is very helpful. I believe that um, uh, we will reach a solution. We will reach a solution. Inshallah, in our meeting of Monday, when we all have the full board, the full house, sorry, the full house, then at least then the bits of which which I cannot express. When MCA come, when the minister come, I hope that Inshallah will be able to have a temporary solution of our problem. But he understands the, the, the health, he understands health, and you know now that I definitely, the, the law was over ambitious. Mm -hmm. So my in my mobile, I have those, the act, and whenever I receive things, I see how do I make sure now that I'm legal and also solving problem. Okay. How do we now try to be legal and problem solving? I think this is the mandate that, that, that we have as Minister of Health, as well as the other stakeholders as, as parliamentarian. And we thank you very much for the invitation, yeah. and I uh, promise you that I'm going to convey uh, to the minister, the importance of this, and then in our next meeting, we will, we will be able to come, inshallah, with it. Thank you very much. Yeah. I think it is a good point that we wrap up and then close. Yeah, we have anything? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We do are talking about our ambitions. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 no. It's not even the general MCA law. Medicine and law. It's a law. Medicine. No, we will explain to you. Medicine. We will explain to you. The Medicine and Medical Product Act. Yes. The entire act. When was it? The act. That is what the act. Not the amendment that we brought. No, no, but this shortage. This, this, this shortage. There has something happening here until when with the amendment. Thank you. No, no, thank you very much. Let me, let me come to that. No, no, no. Let me, let me come to that. No, no, no. Let me, let me come to that. You know, before AKI, 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 let me, let me just tell you, I was working in the Ministry of Health <laughs> and, and then I still continue to be corrected with the Ministry of Health. You know, previously, before pre-AKI, the then uh, Executive Director of MCA, most of the time what they do is they look at what currently is prevailing in the country and when situation comes, they act based on that, give leverage to importers and even the Ministry of Health with everything so that we can have trust in the country. So when AKI happened, Everybody become an expert in, on health, especially on medicine. That is the honest truth. You see people talking about issues that they have no clue about. That is the unfortunate part of this. But we learn from AKI and we take the positive out of it and we move on from there. So we make sure that we implement the laws as per dictated by the Medicine and Related Product Act. But in doing that, there are provisions which you don't have. Definitely, if you want to implement them, we will not have medicines in this country. That is the honest truth. So now what we need to do is we need to sit down, discuss and see how best we solve those issues. So currently now, what the act is saying, even the issue of leveling, can you, can you imagine a drug being procured in maybe a country where they are not speaking English and they, they write in other languages, you want to tell that country that we will not accept that drug if you don't put it in English. And there are solutions that others are proposing. Just put a sticker, make sure it describes whatever is in the uh, what's the composition of the medicine, and, and you are writing there so that people will know this is it. What the, the law said, that is not possible. So you want to like a country? Let, let me give you an example. A talking. In Gambia, you uh, Gambia MCA or Gambia Medicine and Related Program is telling talkies before we accept drugs from Turkey, they have to be in English language and talking. Is their regulation, if they are based on their regulation and their laws, they put it in Turkish language. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem which you know that we have to accept because we are manufacturing drugs and we don't even have testing facilities as we speak right now. So now, what we need to do is when we align ourselves to the global context. You see, this is an area that I have made extensive research. I have research, I have looked at many acts Nigeria, Ghana, Ethiopia, and many other countries. But if you compare this act with us, ours, Ours is far above, we are up there. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, very modernized, very standard. Very, very modernized and standard. So now the problem is, <laughs> the problem is, we don't go into the level, we have to accept it. I think, yes. So now we are, we are up there. So now, the problem the regulators have in this country, if anything happens tomorrow, God forbid, talk something like AKI, Every Tom, Dick and Harry, including myself, we start looking at the law. How does this medicine come? Does MCA follow rule number one? Does MCA follow rule number two? What was the position of the Ministry of Health? And so on and so on. And anyway, they find a loophole, they say they are responsible. So as a manager, as a regulator, I will not be a subject, I will not be a victim to that, as far as I am concerned. Because first of all, myself and my welfare come first before any other thing. So the, 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 this, this is it. So now as a country and especially as health committee that is 
responsible of performing oversight over the Ministry of Health and of course cost audience of laws and regulations with regards to uh, health and health services in conjunction with the Ministry of Health. We need to sit down and see, listening to the experts, what is most feasible, whereas, and I underline, we will not compromise quality, we will not compromise efficacy, we will not compromise the whatever safety and so on. We will not compromise that. But what can we do to make sure that we have these things in control based on our conditions, based on our situation, and based on our capacity and whatever? So that is the discourse of this year. When, 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 when I propose that amendment, you see, when I brought that private members bill, had it been that was not in place today, we will not have some drugs from this, uh, as what they call SRA countries, as we speak right now. So that, that is something which you know that I am proud of, and I think the entire committee and even the entire Ministry of Health, they are proud of. Because that's why I mentioned it. Because they are, I they are, they, they, the yes, they are proud of, and because it has some a great problem, a big problem. It has some Because if not, like 80, 80, more than eighty percent of medicines come from India and some countries. But some of these small, small medicines, we you know they are special medicine that they import from these countries, but have not been accepted here because nobody will be doing two, three cartons or whatever you tell them to register. No, who will do that? Nobody will do that. So that's why we, I came up with that quick thinking. I said, let's just do this thing to make sure we solve this small problem. But we solve the problem. There are bigger problems that come. You see, if, if, if there is a problem, when you don't start solving it, you will not see the future problems. Yes. But when you solve the problem, in the world there are bigger hidden problems. We, you know, we have to sit down by force and discourse and solve them. Yes. That's the situation where we are. And then I think as a, as a health committee, as a ministry of health, we cannot continue to be talking about this thing forever and for, the, and for our entire legislative time. We have to sit down now and analyze, identify these issues not as members only, but as experts, as stakeholders in this thing. We all sit down and see what are the issues, so that we see how we can solve it. And more, we have many other things that the committee is mandated to look at. So basically, I think, as an introduction, but maybe for a while we can continue this discussion, yeah, yeah, personal yeah, label yeah, and whatever yeah. label, then we see how best we brainstorm and agree to disagree. So, honorable right, members, honorable PS, thank you very much. Thank you very much. On behalf of the National Assembly, and of course, when I say it, that is on behalf of the the authority that is speaker of the National Assembly, we want to thank you for coming to this discussion. As I said, we owe it to you before we engage anybody in this country with regards to this issue to call you first, discuss with you, so that we can set you, set the line of discussion on this matter. And then I think uh, the positive that we take from this, they are huge. Discussions is key. Discussions is what will solve all these problems, because there are problems of regulation, problems of laws, problems of mobility with regards to global crisis, and of course, the problems of emergency drugs, and of course, some of the GBPA rules with regards to procurement of drugs. So these are issues that we need to discuss. These are some of the details that I took. Suppliers not uh, delivering on time because of certain issues. So these are issues that I take up and we will incorporate all these things and uh, we will take it as part of our tax to make sure we move forward. So on Monday, we will invite you again with other stakeholders with a bigger forum where we can again discuss openly and we see how best we move from there. Yeah, please don't close. Educate me on this. I really want to ask this question and you are here. Please educate me on that. Okay. Procurement Act was passed 2002 and maybe you were here or you were not here. Mm -hmm. But please, are you people telling us that there was, there was no proper consultation before passing this act? Procurement? We released this week. Yes, yes. yes. message yes. 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 <laughs> No, no, no. But, wait, thank you, thank you. Are you talking about the GBB Act? Yes, the Act. Yes, thank, thank you very much. It was passed, and then I think by then I was not in Parliament, by then yeah. I think I was in school. But let's, let's remember one thing uh, laws. As time goes on, they need to change because um, issues change as the, we are moving with global with modernization and so on. So definitely, the act was the act was passed, and of course, the medicine related product was act passed. But again, as time goes on, as we are moving, we have we started seeing problem classes because health is a special area that needs to be given special attention. Not like we are procuring a table or a computer. You don't need to go through the same channel with the gas of medicine. Because if medicines are not available, you will not be sitting on the table, you will not be sitting on the computer. So I think basically that is it. We need to sit down and see how best we align these things to and give preference where needed. 
So I think. Why are you in the US to ask this people to leave? I don't know what. No, no, no. My, no, my, no, he's no, not here. Yeah, my, we have an internal issue with this one. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. No, it's fine. You know, they have. They said you are the fool. I don't mind them. So thank you very much. And then I think honorable PS once again. Thank you very much. Uh, acting director, uh, Mr. Jao. We want to thank you. And then I think. You are released to go, then we will see you on Monday. I think the meeting starts at 1.30. No, is it 1.30? Yes. Monday meeting, is it 10 or 1.30? 10. 10. 10. No, I think Monday is 1.30. Monday is 1.30. I was looking at the schedule. Yeah, yeah. It's after After meeting, yeah. What do you After I didn't send it. It's 1.30. I'm going to the schedule. It's 1.30. You are having the meeting in the moment. So you can go to office, maybe do your some work before we start. <laughs> before the afternoon, so you can start. <laughs>